internet calling application to start talking about this topic we need to start right from the beginning. The history of VoIP, Voice Over Internet Protocol, abbreviated VoIP, is a fairly recent technology. It goes by many names, including Voice Over Broadband VoBB, Internet Telephony, IP Telephony, and Broadband Phone. What is VoIP? To put it simply, VoIP is the transmission of voice data packets from one IP address to another over the Internet. Developed around 1995, originally it served as a workaround for long-distance and international telephone charges. Less than two decades old, VoIP has revolutionized communication all around the world. VoIP started with a company called Vocal Tech in 1995. They pioneered the first widely available Internet phone. It was called quite simply, Internet Phone. It allowed one Internet user to call another, and it connected to the speakers and a microphone. No video was available at the time, and the setup required that both users be on the same software. Skype enters the scene, 2003 saw Skype launch its beta software, and it quickly gained national attention. For one thing, Skype allowed people to make computer voice calls completely free of charge. They also developed their own instant messaging service also free, which gave users more options for communication, making it much more universal. Facebook Messenger Messenger is an instant messaging app and platform developed by Meta Platforms. Originally developed as Facebook Chat in 2008, the company revamped its messaging service in 2010, and subsequently released standalone iOS and Android apps in August 2011 and standalone Facebook portal hardware for Messenger based calling in 2018. Later on, Facebook launched a dedicated website interface known as Messenger.com and separated the messaging functionality from the main Facebook app, allowing users to use the web interface or download one of the standalone apps. In April 2020, Facebook officially released Messenger for Desktop, which is supported on Windows 10 and Mac OS and distributed on Microsoft Store and App Store respectively. WhatsApp, 2009-2014 WhatsApp was founded by Brian Acton and Jan Kulm, former employees of Yahoo. In January 2009, after purchasing an iPhone and realizing the potential of the app industry on the App Store, Coombe and Acton began visiting Coombe's friend Alex Fishman in West San Jose to discuss a new type of messaging app that would show statuses next to individual names of the people. They realized that to take the idea further, they would need an iPhone developer. Fishman visited Rentacoder.com, found Russian developer Igor Solomenikov, and introduced him to Coombe. WhatsApp Messenger, or simply WhatsApp, is an American freeware cross-platform centralized instant messaging M, and voice over IP VoIP service owned by Meta Platforms. It allows users to send text messages and voice messages, makes voice and video calls, and share images, documents, user locations, and other content. WhatsApp's client application runs on mobile devices but is also accessible from desktop computers as long as the user's mobile device remains connected to the Internet while they use the desktop app. The service requires a cellular mobile telephone number to sign up. In January 2018, WhatsApp released a standalone business app targeted at small business owners, called WhatsApp Business, to allow companies to communicate with customers who use the standard WhatsApp client. We have all of these amazing technologies available to us. Calling international has become easier than ever. Here is how it works, both users will have to download and install the application that they are planning to use. If they have internet available the call will be 100 free. You heard right. No more overpaying for international features on a mobile phone. However, if one of the users does not have internet available they can still call using their data plan for the call. These applications allow you to connect to any public Wi-Fi and call anyone from your contact list within the application. Even if the phone is not activated with a mobile plan, if you connect the phone to public Wi-Fi, you will be communicating at no time. Another big company using this type of feature is Apple with their FaceTime. If you have an Apple device and are connected to the Internet, you will be able to FaceTime that person at no cost to you. I will be explaining in my next video how devices communicate with each other on the internet. How devices communicate